Hey everyone, Sean Smith here with Dedicated Financial GBC in Roseville, Minnesota. I'm the founder and CEO doing our vlog today on should you be an entrepreneur? And that's a big question I think a lot of people ask themselves, especially when the going gets tough at a job, when they're sick of working for somebody else, uh, they begin to think they can make money doing it on their own. There's a lot of reasons that make us truly think, should I start my own business? And I just wanna cover some of the thought processes that I go through and that I would, when I meet with people, and which I do on a regular basis to talk through this question that I would ask them. The first thing I would say, and the most important thing is, do you know your why? What is your why? And often somebody's why is to make more money. And I find that to be a really weak why, uh, to be honest with you, because the second you get that money, even if you do get it, it ends up being not the most important thing in your life. Your why should be God's leading you, your family, time, um, financial freedom, that's part of it, right? But there's other bigger whys that are a stronger foundation. Maybe it's impact, significance, giving back, whatever that is. You have to know your why and it just, your why has to be like ingrained in you down to your core. And if you don't know your why, when the winds and the tides and the storms of business come, it is going to wash out your foundation and it's going to wash away your uh, drive and grit to build that business, which really leads me to a second thing, which is, do you have the grit necessary to be a business owner? And what I mean by that is, uh, everybody wants to be the leader until they must be the leader, right? That means being first person on the battlefield, last person off. You're riding Mr. Toad's wild ride, as my mentor would say. When things are good, you're celebrating. When things are bad, you're down in the dumps and you're dealing with it. But the buck stops with you. There's no longer anyone else to pass it off to. And that is going to take every single thing you have. I think it's been referred to as intestinal fortitude. Uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Um, being a business owner is going to test every aspect of your life. And that's why that why is so important. Knowing that you've got the grit there, knowing that you're willing to do what it takes to make things happen is really important. Next thing I would say is, are you aware of your strengths and weaknesses? And why I say that is one, you should hire to your weaknesses and then you need to trust and really kind of follow those person's lead because that's their area of expertise. But almost more importantly, it's the key between being a dictator or a leader, right? Because the dictator is unaware of his weaknesses, doesn't care, wants to be the leader, wants to tell you what to do, doesn't lead by example, and quite frankly, nobody wants to work for that anymore. So I would say, do us all a favor, and if that's you, and you're unaware of your weaknesses and how to hire them, and you're not willing to follow people, don't start a business so the rest of us can benefit because we don't have to follow you, right? But I say that jokingly, but also with some sincerity, because I think we've all had a job or worked with or for someone that is unaware of their weaknesses, doesn't delegate, is a dictator of people, and that environment is life suck. And that's why you see people don't quit companies, they quit leaders, they quit toxic environments that come from that style of person. And here's the thing, if you're gonna start a business, you're gonna be the leader, the buck stops with you, and everything you do and the precedent you set, it trickles down to everyone. So it's most important that you're the most positive, that you're uplifting, that you have the vision, that you're letting other people know you're doing all those positive things. It starts with you, and then that goes down in the organization. Uh, next thing I'd say is this, do you have the mentorship? Do you have the plan in place? Do you have the capital? Okay, so not only do you just need some money to start a business, even if you start small, but there's gonna be things that come up along the way. And a lot of uh, people I talk with who wanna start a business have that maybe initial capital or time, but they are not factoring in the fact that without a doubt, stuff is going to happen. What are you gonna do then? Where is the money gonna come from then? Because once you run out of money, if you don't have any access to anything, if you think you're just gonna start turning this wild profit and then you're gonna have the money to deal with situations, I promise you uh, that's not gonna be the case. You're gonna need to be thinking in advance and have a plan for that. And it's the same thing with, with mentors. Like, 
having people financially from a leadership perspective, from a business perspective, from a legal perspective, people perspective, relationally, uh, what's going on internally with you. You have to have a plan because this is really gonna take a lot and you need to make sure you have the, the people and the plan and the capital in place for that. Uh, next thing I say is this is, and I'll actually end with, uh, uh, with this story, but you know, often people, um, they're trying to get to Hawaii. That's their dream, right? But they get in a vehicle or they get in cars and they keep trading up cars to get to that flashy Ferrari. It ends up being the golden handcuffs that only get them to the end of the Santa Monica Pier. It was never the right vehicle. They were so concerned with what the rest of the world was doing or getting that flashy car that they didn't even stop to think they're in the wrong vehicle. Well, it kind of happens the other way in starting a business is people want to be a business owner. They think they're going to make all this money. Their motivations, their foundation is not really strong. And so they instead, they're not thinking about what's actually going to get them there. And I was talking with a chef who wanted to start a restaurant and his goal was to get a food truck and get his name out there and then eventually turn that into a restaurant. And I asked him like, okay, but from what I know, because I knew he was married with kids, uh, restaurant owners are in that restaurant nights and weekends like crazy. So do you want to spend the majority of your nights and weekends, not with your family, but in your restaurant? And that made him think and made him think he wanted to go in a different direction where he was going to be able to get some of his time back. Uh, you know, and that's the thing is like, now, if he had a plan to scale that restaurant and, and into several restaurants and have GMs and things like that, sure, maybe, but that really wasn't his plan. He was really focused on wanting one restaurant. So again, it's, it's thinking about those type of things. What is your Hawaii? What does your time look like? What does your relationships look like? The more businesses, the more team members, the more stress, the more that's gonna put outside in your life. It's gonna be harder to exercise. It's gonna test your marriage. It's gonna take time away from your kids. It's gonna take time away from your hobbies and your friends, right? So are you prepared? Are you okay with that? And that's why knowing that why and what's driving it is exquisitely important and knowing where you ultimately wanna end up is also really important. And I'll end with this is, is God leading? And I say that more for people who are believers, no matter what faith sect you are, but I believe if God is leading you in the direction you're going and you're tapping into his power and his plan and his purpose, uh, you have a different uh, power and, and insight driving what you're doing and supporting you than when it's just your idea or when you're just driven by, hey, I want to make more money or I want to be the leader, right? And so I say that to say, you know, the power of prayer, having mentorship, seeking out counsel on what you should be doing and, you know, really feeling like inside, in your spirit, in your gut, in your bones, this is what you're supposed to be doing is going to be that grit. It's going to be that power. It's going to be that force in nature behind you that's going to drive you through the hard times uh, when you're running a business. So uh, these are just some tips uh, and things that I ask people when I sit down and have this conversation. I hope they've been beneficial to you and I hope you really like the videos we're putting out. If you do, please subscribe, like, comment. We super appreciate that. And as always, thank you for tuning in and God bless. Oh, 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 oh,